Cybersecurity is a $40 billion global market facing a crisis of confidence. Why is that? Because things just aren't working. Think about it. If large financial institutions, the US government for Pete's sakes, and even Google can't protect user data, who can? You guessed it, we can. Good morning, I'm Dave Lowenstein, CEO of Federated Networks, and over here is Risu Na, our Chief Technology Officer and co-founder. So why is FN different? Why are we more secure? Lots of reasons, actually, but today we're gonna focus on three. The first, we replace the SSL protocol. It's known to be insecure, but all of our competitors build their solution stacks on top of it. Second, we strengthen the human computer interface, effectively immunizing a user's system against spyware. Third, we protect the security, privacy, and confidentiality of all of a user's data and web communications, whether their service provider participates or not. So let's get started with a phishing demo, not against the browser, that would just be too easy, and it's yesterday's news, but against some pretty good software used by some major banks like mine. So I go to my email box, I see an email from my bank, it looks pretty official, so I go ahead and click on the link. I go to the website, it looks official as well, there's actually even a security trust mark in the browser, so I go ahead and enter my username and password. When I hit submit, you guessed it, I've actually been phished. A hacker now has my, user, my bank account number and my password, ouch. So let's move on to another favorite hacker exploit, spyware. Let's go to another major bank's uh, e-commerce section of their website, also protected by this company's software. And as I type in my uh, credit card number, the key logger is actually capturing all of the data not so good. And if I, hit some, if I hit the screen capture button, I see my credit card is compromised as well, doubly not so good. Despite all of these flaws, we actually applaud these banks for taking the initiative to try to do more to protect their user data. In fairness, both these banks and this company have done a pretty good job at cybersecurity, but pretty good isn't good enough anymore. So let's see the FN difference. I have a similar looking email, I go ahead and click on a similar link, but this time I actually go to an FN protected uh, website. I see my FN personalized uh, icon, so I actually know that I'm secure. I go ahead and input my data and submit. Web's a little slow here this morning. What I see actually is that the phishing attempt has failed. All of the important user data has been encrypted and the attacker actually has received none of it. Pretty cool. And if we switch to an FN protected e-commerce website like this one, we can see that as I type my, my credit card number, one, two, three, four, five, six, in fact, the key logger is capturing nothing but gibberish. And if I go ahead and hit the screen capture tool, it's captured nothing as well. Pretty cool. But FN cybersecurity is even more potent than that. Even if the attacker has your username and password or credit card number, because you were foolish enough to, to write it out on a sticky tab like this, the attacker still can't log in as you or buy anything online. It's a wickedly cool demo, but you'll have to come by and see us at Station 55 to see it. In addition to securing content and data, FN also secures all of a user's web communications like Outlook and Gmail, and even social web networking sites like Facebook, which we're gonna demo here today. Now we could go ahead and call up the FN Rich Text Editor and input a secure message, secured by all of the same encryption and anti-spyware technologies we showcased earlier, but instead let's do something a little more fun. Let's go ahead and upload a picture of us at last, year's, at last night's demo party. We, just, we do that by simply taking the picture, dragging it over to the Facebook icon, on the FN action bar. And because this picture's actually a little racy, I'm gonna go ahead and encrypt it for my close friends because I actually don't want our VCs and our board of directors to see this. So let's see what my, my regular Facebook friends see, the ones I didn't protect, sorry, the ones I didn't provide access to. They see just a picture of an, an encrypted picture of an FN logo. And now let's take a look at what my close friends see, the ones I did provide access to. Man, that was some party. Felt like college all over again. 
Now you see why I didn't want our VCs and board of directors to see this. The headline here is that with FN, all of a user's web communications can be made private, secure, and confidential anytime a user wants them to be, whether their service provider participates or not. So to recap, today FN has introduced some novel cybersecurity ideas, as novel, dare we say, as a phone that can actually make phone calls, or maybe even as novel as a plane that well flies. For today, FN has introduced cybersecurity that actually secures. Imagine that. We are Federated Networks. Visit our website, federatednetworks.com, or come by and see us at the Double Nickel, Station 55. We've got lots more cool stuff to, to show you. Thanks for having us.